Oh, hey guys. It's time for another quick tips with Geordie C. Carving knives like these Mora ones here are brilliant for making spoons, bowls, and things like that. But like any tool, they need to be kept sharp to be both safe and to work properly. But for many, that's where things start to fall apart. Sharpening these, especially the curved profile ones, can be quite difficult, and it is definitely difficult to master. But the good news is, if you regularly maintain the edge by stropping the tool, you can keep things sharp and in tip-top condition for a relatively long time without ever needing to really touch the stones unless you have physically damaged the edge. Stropping is a supplementary part of sharpening that is just the act of polishing the cutting edge using a soft piece of material. It's usually leather, but you can use other things as well. The process is much gentler than using a sharpening stone. And in my opinion, it's also a lot harder to mess it up. So let's first look at how we would strop these straight knife profiles, which would be the 106 or the 120 blades. To strop, I'm just gonna use a simple piece of flat leather. In this case, it's a belt that I've anchored down to the bench. I've already charged it with my cutting compound. And in this case, I'm using the Pride Abrasives sharpening compound, which is the green one. Begin drawing the knife over the leather. Make sure you go away from the cutting edge as with stropping you never really want to go towards. Count your strokes and do the same on the reverse edge, then check your sharpness and you'll be surprised at how quick and easy it is to bring back that razor sharp edge. Now for curved blades like the 162, 163 and 164, I find a hard strop to be a lot easier, so let's make a simple one. Take a small piece of leather and a flat bit of wood and simply glue the two together. As time is limited here, I've used speed tape, but ordinarily I would just use contact adhesive or even type one glue. Now for the inside curve profiles, we're going to need a round strop. So here I just used a round piece of 20 millimeter PVC and stuck some leather down to it in the exact same way. It's a good idea to give yourself a handle to hold onto as that will make it a lot easier and a little bit safer too. Now charge your freshly made strops with some cutting compound and hit all of the edges in the same way as before. This time we're gonna to have to roll the blade to make sure we have good contact along the entire bevel, but just take your time and maybe give it a few practice runs and uh, you should be fine. Now for the inside faces, we're gonna use the round strop that we made and this time we're going to rotate the strop to change its contact area instead of the tool. Remember though, we're polishing the back side of the knife here and not the bevel. So try and keep the blade as flat as possible and only tilt it enough so that the back edge doesn't catch in the leather. If you do this often, you'll find that you won't need to be getting out the sharpening stones anywhere near as often. And you'll find the whole process of carving becomes a whole lot more enjoyable when you're working with sharp and consistent tools. Anyway, that's it for now. So stay tuned for more quick tips and other videos in the future. And if you wanna see more on the Mora knives and how to use them in an actual project, Timicon did a great video with Greg Miller a few years back. So we'll link to that down in the description below because it's a really good video and I recommend checking it out. Like always, all of these products will be linked down below. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Oh, and remember, think wooden thoughts.